Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Sophia Bulova. Coming up in today's show, LES is looking for volunteers, there is a college planning meeting for juniors scheduled, and we have your three day forecast. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. Attention, seniors and juniors. Sixth grade camp counselor applications are available for pickup in the main office and are due no later than February 19th. The American Red Cross is sponsoring an essay and art contest for topics in international humanitarian law. This year's topic is nuclear weapons and armed conflict. The essays and art submissions are due January 26th. Please see the guidance office for details. LES is looking for student volunteers for the upcoming Family Fun Night on March 15th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Volunteers will help kids with games and other stations. If you are interested in helping out, please contact the LES PTO at jsnyder0127 at gmail.com. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Coco Toscano for your three-day forecast. What's up, Wildcats? Today there is a high of 49 and a low of 37 with rainy weather. Tomorrow there is also rainy weather with a high of 53 and a low of 43. Friday there will be cloudy skies with a high of 54 and a low of 41. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Coco. Junior students are encouraged to invite their parents to attend an informational meeting about the college planning and college application process. The school counseling team will hold this meeting Tuesday, February 6th in the CSC beginning at 6.30. No reservation is required. Junior students will have an opportunity to meet with their school counselor individually prior to scheduling for senior year. We get a Brianna Vesley for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. Last night, the girls' basketball team faced off against Hemfield, where the Cats won 59-43. to Ellie Snyder tied the double-double record, scoring 22 points and grabbing 14 rebounds. Carly Burke had 11 points, and freshman Maggie Myers had 10. Tonight, the bowling team heads to Hillview Bowling Center to face Hemfield. The wrestling teams are also on the move as the boys head to Gateway, and the girls' team travels to Kiski for their meets. Sports reporter Mia Klasnick made this hype video for the girls' team. For those of you who like snow sports, there will be a ski trip on Friday, February 2nd for Epic Pass holders only. Information and permission slips are available in the main office. Bus money and permission slips are due by Friday, January 26th. Also, the Pep Club will be having a meeting tomorrow during GL Block A in Mrs. Fry's room A4. The group will be discussing details of the pep rally happening this Friday. All are welcome to attend. That's all for local sports. Now here's Michael Vito with National Sports. Thanks, Brianna. Good morning, Wildcats. Last night, Pitt's basketball team took down Georgia Tech in Atlanta by a final score of 72-64. to In baseball news, the Pirates signed 39-year-old reliever Aroldis Chapman to a one-year, $10.5 million deal. Chapman holds the record for fastest major league pitch at 105.8 miles an hour. He joins an already stacked Pittsburgh bullpen, including David Bednar, Colin Holderman, Ryan Barucki, and Carmen Machinsky. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Michael. The sports broadcasting students created sports podcasts. Here's a preview of Beyond the Arena with Savannah Repack and Brianna Vesley. Your protein should make up 10 to 10% 10 to 15% of your daily calories. This will significantly help you when it comes to game time. You have that source and before your events, you should be eating these in two to four hours. You should have high and complex carbs, low in your protein and sugar. The main, main component, though, is staying hydrated. It's the most important part. You need to give your body that water, that Gatorade, the milk. It keeps your body's energy just flowing. Your muscles are ready. You're on, you're on your point. Especially during a high-performance game because you figure you're sweating. You're using a lot of your energy to compete at a high level. You need to stay hydrated so you can keep performing to that extent. Yeah, and all of this plays into your... Just the, 
the, the disorders of eating, you're, you're not, it's just, it, you're eating to maintain your body's appearance. You're eating to maintain your muscle. You're eating to maintain your energy. And it, it, it can um, create these, these disordered eating or even eating disorders if it gets to a serious point. You can check out this podcast and more on the WCA TTV tab on the High Post online. St. Vincent College is hosting a Women's Day event on Saturday, January 27th. High school students can spend the day working with female faculty and current female students as you explore hands-on activities demonstrating how concepts are applied to real-life opportunities. Sessions include, but not limited to, biological science, communications, engineering and math, marketing, accounting, and education. Interested students can register to attend by scanning the QR code on the screen. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Dr. King with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latro? Today is Wednesday, January 24th, and the special of the day is corn dogs with french fries, peas, and carrots. Tomorrow's special is firecracker chicken with rice and broccoli. The soup of the day is beef vegetable. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. We will be back after this message. The Drama Club is hosting the cabaret this Saturday at 7 p.m. in the CSC. Tickets will be sold at the door and are $10 for adults and $5 for students. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. Go Wildcats!